do you believe that we should have licensing registration like we do for cars uh, for gun ownership? I do. I, I actually believe that that is um, very reasonable. If we have to go through a certain process to get a driver's license, even the most um, avid gun enthusiasts, I would imagine, because most gun owners are reasonable, responsible people, I would imagine that they would have no problem with that. Um, you know, the thing is this, and, and, and if I can uh, just kind of segue into an aspect of this conversation, sure. that, um, you know, if we're talking about banning certain guns, I believe that we can't talk about gun reform if we don't address the situation of those in authority militarized police i'm speaking of mm -hmm. that they have them because this is the concern of the people that i've heard anyway that the, the people that i've spoken to this is the concern and especially amongst the african-american community you know and this is not let me just really be clear here what i'm about to say does not belittle or negate whatsoever the atrocities that happen in mass school shootings, because that is an abhorrent um, scar on our country, and it should never be. Now, having said that, there has been, I believe since 2013, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, and I could be off by a few, but roughly around 53 deaths in those types of shootings. Meanwhile, there is an average of a thousand black men and brown uh, indigenous that get killed a year by militarized police. That's now that's, you know, and there's no busloads of people marching for that. That is an atrocity. That is, that is unbelievable that this is still allowed to happen and not one police officer has ever been on trial and convicted for wrongful death for murder. In some of these cases, it is, it is nothing other than that. So I have, a, I have a very sensitive barometer in regard to justice. You know, if, if, it, if it's not uh, equal and something is unjust, it just turns in my stomach. So I, I think, and not to negate that, but I believe that we are, are negating that aspect out of the conversation. We need to add that into the conversation. So if we're gonna ban anything, then, then police should not have those types of guns. So why do they need a gun that can kill masses amounts of people? That's well, you, you probably haven't heard me go off about it, but you basically say what I say about it, and you did a much nicer job than I do because I end up using a lot of cuss words. Um, you, well, I, you know, you I'm know. being polite. <laughs> you don't have to. You can say whatever the hell you want on this show. It's it's okay. uh, we don't have FCC regulations. Uh, I absolutely agree with you 100 percent, and I think uh, the solution is the same solution we have for society. Both our society needs to be educated and our, our police need to be retrained. Um, to me, they, they and, and, you know, w the, our cops are the poorest trained cops in the world and, and they're proud of it. And that's, I think that's what bothers me the most. And, and I don't know if you've got anybody in Washington, but I haven't seen or heard of one cop nationally that has stood up against their brothers in arms to say, he's a racist, get him out of here. Or he shot that person and he shouldn't have done it, get him out of here. They don't do that. They defend themselves and serve themselves. Do you agree with that? I totally uh, agree with you, John. And here's the thing. You talk about should gun owners go through uh, a process uh, likened unto a driver's license. Yes, and you know what else? Anyone that goes to get employment as a police, we used to call them peace officers. Remember yes. back in that day, John? Yes. We're from the 70s. A peace officer, to right? Serve and protect. That's what it should be. Mm -hmm. Someone that is trained in de-escalation. Someone that in order to be employed as a peace officer, needs to go through the most stringent mental psychological uh test to make sure that 
that we're we're in hiring someone that is in charge of keeping the peace, someone that has arms on them, that has the power to take a life. Those individuals need to have the most stringent test to make sure that they're right up here and more importantly, that they're right within here. Absolutely, absolutely. And I don't think, you know, we already know the FBI has done a study showing that the police are completely infiltrated with white supremacists and they've done nothing about it. The police were like, eh, you know, because it runs all the way up to the top of the chain.